With Venera Fantasy's second release, players now have another chance at getting their hands on the number 90. But what's the big deal of the number 90? And why doesn't Japan know what it is? Okay, now the truth is, Japan actually does know what the number 90 is. They just don't use it that much. In Japan, their specialized breakers just focus more on imperos rather than actual breaks. Why? Because breaks are far more universal than imperos, and thus a unit with high numerical breaks will often be used more than a unit with better elemento imperos. Still, the new elemento breakers are inching closer towards 90, but none of them have actually exceeded 89. In fact, the only 90% breakers Japan has is Saviors of Souls Lightning, whose 90% spirit break is tied to her multi-element limit burst, and Neo Vision Lock, who has a 90% attack and magic break on his limit burst, and a 90% defense break on a cooldown. However, that 90% defense break requires Master Crowns, and he also happens to be Lock, which I don't know why, no one seems to like him. However, the global version isn't as scared as the Japanese version, and we do in fact have a whopping count of 6 units with 90% breaks, four more than the Japanese version. These additional units are Luis, who has a 90% spear break but has bad voice acting, and three additional 90% defense breakers. These three are Ninja Master Hawkeye, who might appear again but hopefully better, Lara Croft, who likely won't be seen again, and Venera Fenes, who is, well, right here, with a 90% attack and defense break. But do you really need a 90% break? Why not just wait for power creep with the 91% break? Unfortunately, there we run into the bigger problem of the vaunted 100% break, at which point all enemies will be immune to breaks. Either that or they somehow make stats go beyond 100%, but let's stop thinking about that. Long and short of it is that 90% breaks will likely remain on top for a long while, unlike those 145% elemental breakers which will soon get replaced. But what if you don't have a 90% breaker? Well, that's alright. There are alternatives that, while definitively weaker, can still more than suffice. Cacteria is a non-limited unit with 89% breaks, and the rest of her kit is particularly strong as well. King of Leonis Mont has an 89% attack break, but he's a limited unit, and that's the best break he's got. Fledgling Warrior is the same, but not limited. Kryla has 88% breaks, but she's also limited, requires EX Awakenings, and is limited! There are also a bunch of non-limited 88% defense and spear breakers, though unfortunately the elemental breakers will likely get power crap. 87 and 86% are also okay, but admittedly we are getting farther and farther away from the overall effectiveness of 90%. To make things simple, an Esther with a 90% defense break will do much better than an Esther with an 89% defense break. However, breaks aren't the end all be all of everything. When it comes to damage, do you have the right elements? Strong amplifications, good imperos, all that stuff? Do you have regular stat and limit burst buffs? Killer boss, weapon imperils, good variants, strong units. When it comes to defense, do you have a sturdy tank? Do you have elemental resistance, strong mitigation, species mitigation, stats, evasion? Final Fantasy Brave Exvius has so many other variables that will affect a single fight that breaks might not be your biggest issue. Nevertheless, if you're confident in all other aspects, then yes, I agree. Getting a 90% breaker will be an improvement over any smaller number. This goes double if you want to rank high as you need the biggest numbers to deal the biggest damage. However, if you're a more casual player who can't afford to spend on every nice looking unit, then you don't need to spend on a limited 90% breaker. I don't have a 90% attack or magic breaker, but I find that I can survive the strongest blows of good mitigation and cacteria. But then again, the only two 90% offensive breakers are Venera Fenes and King Locke, and no one respects Locke. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below which 90% breakers you've got, and whether or not they've changed your lives. As someone with the 4 L's and Hawkeye, I've only used Lara and Luis. As someone who plays casually, the additional damage is definitely appreciated, but I found more use from the defensive properties of Cacteria's 89% breaks. Wait, if that's so great, then maybe I should get Venera.